Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm here with a new toy. Uh, what we got here is an HP N36L. It's a micro server. Uh, it's a ProLiant. It's part of the ProLiant series. It's uh, really small, has uh, four bays. It's a, uh, it has an AMD uh, N32L uh, CPU, which is a dual 1.3 uh, gigahertz. Um, it comes with a one gig uh, RAM, uh, DDR3. Um, 1066, but I uh, pretty much removed it because one gig does nothing today, and um, upgraded it to an eight gig, uh, 1066 DDR3, um, and it's not ECC, so it is compatible with non ECC RAM, um, and it's really really good. Uh, I have with me today I have Jeff from uh, JBTechAnt.com, so as I'm talking and if I mess up. Uh, he's gonna correct me because because he knows all about this stuff. Um, so yeah, he's my uh, my expert. And um, also we have uh, my friend Jonas who is manning the camera. Hello. Uh, so thank you, Jonas, uh, video expert guy. I trust him with all the video stuff. So thank you, Jonas. Anyway, um, so what, what what this guy does is pretty much it's a really a server, a uh, very small server. Um, so we could start by uh, opening the this guy, and what you can see right away are the four bays of hard drives. Um, it does come with a 160 gig uh, hard drive, but again, nowadays that's nothing, so I removed it, pretty much threw it away, um, and, and replaced it with other hard drives. Uh, it's compatible with RAID 0 and RAID 1. Um, and it, it has a gigabit uh, Ethernet port, uh, a bunch of USB ports, and what I'm going to be using this for is uh, running VMware ESXi 4.1. Um, what's great about it is because it's a ProLiant uh, server, uh, the hardware is already compatible with ESXi uh, out, of, out, out the box, so you don't have to worry about adding another network card unless you need another network card. Uh, other modifications that I've already made, um, I put in this one gig uh, USB flash drive. This is where my ESXi is installed. I've added another um, SATA cable uh, and I ran it uh, to the top and this is how the top looks like. So the other side is here. Uh, and if you need a DVD-ROM, it'll sit up top here. Um, or you can just throw in a fifth hard drive up here, uh, three and a half or two and a half, doesn't really matter. Um, what else is there? There is a TPM, was it slot or port? TPM? Slot. TPM slot, uh, which stands for? <laughs> I forgot what it stood for. It's like that security, security thing. Uh, Transfer. Some, some, blah, blah, see our network guy doesn't know. <laughs> anyway, TPM is, is the hardware security thing. I think, I forgot, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, one thing you need to do if you are gonna use a fifth hard drive or a DVD-ROM, DVD burner, whatever, um, you do have to supply your own uh, SATA cable and you also need a, a, a Molex splitter because all of the Molex uh, power adapter plugs are already used for the, uh, the hard drives. Um, it runs really cool on idle so far uh, in the BIOS I've seen it as high as 41 degrees Celsius um, so it runs it runs uh, very cool um, and in terms of power usage uh, what I've noticed is what is it like 47 watts 47 to 51 watts um, so it, it's uh, pretty power efficient um, for, for what it can do um, also, there is a uh, Torx screw uh, behind the, this door panel, and what this guy is for is um, one side is to unscrew these two, two screws here, which um, allows you, after you unscrew it, allows you to pull the motherboard out and add your RAM and uh, other, other things. Uh, the PCI, there's two PCI uh, slots, um, and then the other side of this Torx screw um, is for the hard drive tray, the first hard drive tray comes with the screw, these really nice screw, screws, uh, but um, you need this to unscrew it. Unfortunately, the other drive trays don't come with a screw, so you're screwed, unless you have extra screws. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, if you have uh, screws lying around or just the standard uh, screws for the hard drives. So, uh, real easy to, to pop out and add, add new stuff. So. And really nice holder for this torque screwdriver. Um, but that's really about it. Uh, very quiet and very cool as far as temperature. Um, and it's the HP ProLiant Micro Server uh, N36L. Uh, it's normally priced at around 330 bucks. Uh, if you get another $300, uh, I'd say jump on it. That's a really good price for another $300. Um, and that's really it. Thank you. See the back. Oh, you want to see the back? Yeah. There's the back. We got a VGA port, the gigabit Ethernet port, two USB 2.0s. Oh yeah, there's an eSATA, eSATA port also. Uh, these are the PCI slots right here. And power supply is here, looks like, yeah. And then a big fan here. Um, yeah, it, it really runs cool. That, that's one of the surprising things. Um, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Anything to add, Jeffrey? Well, the the right the default RAID controller that comes in there does not work with the uh, ESXi. Yeah. So in order to have to utilize that, you would have to purchase your own RAID controller that is compatible with the ESXi server. Um, with like Adaptech, Adaptex, yeah, or Adapt I think they start around 180 bucks, maybe mm -hmm. something like that. Intel yeah. is another one. Oh yeah, Intel. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do add your own. Um, uh, RAID card, keep in mind with the small small tower, uh, it could increase the temperature inside. You think so, yeah? yeah? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so, but that's that's if you need a hardware a hardware RAID uh, configuration uh, with ESX, uh, ESXi, and that's a common issue because ESXi is really picky uh, with, with hardware. Um, but if you run, like, say, Windows 2008, um, or, or, I don't know if if you could run, if you if you can run Linux, but I don't know if the the, the drivers are available. But I know for sure Windows 2008, uh, you could utilize the built-in RAID uh, for RAID 0 and RAID 1. Um, otherwise, you could run FreeNAS on it and do a software RAID ZFS, uh, whatever, whatever. So um, that's just a quick look at a new toy. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jonas. <laughs>